Hello, it's David Cathers and I want to welcome you to the show. The purpose of the show is going to be to help provide you information that you want for making the best decisions when you're looking at real estate. Uh, when I got started in real estate, a lot of the questions I had were not being answered by the professionals that I went to. So I felt that the best thing I could do was to answer those questions for you that you ask. And that's what we're going to do in the, in the weeks and months ahead as we start this cycle. So right now I'd like to just welcome you and have you come start along with us. So let's get started with today's show. Hey, once again, it's David Cathers. We're here with Tracy Skinner, our expert from Prime Lending. I uh, wanted to talk today on a subject that everybody gets into this, well, what is my interest rate? Well, there's a little more to it than just knowing what your interest rate is. So here to share that good information for you again is Tracy. So let's get moving. Okay, so what is the importance of working with um, a qualified, experienced mortgage professional? And the truth of the matter is that it, it doesn't do any good to get promised a fantastic rate and really low closing costs if the deal never closes or if the lock expires because the transaction wasn't done properly. So it's important to make sure that the person that you're working with, you have a, a comfortable relationship, you feel that they're honest and that they're, they, they have good morals, they're working for you and finding the right programs. So many different programs to choose from, even though credit has changed quite a bit and there's not all the funky, weird programs there used to be, there still is a lot of programs and a lot of different ways to structure those programs. And you have to make sure that when somebody's talking to you about how to set your mortgage up, they're asking you about your family size, about your short and long-term goals, about um, when you want to retire, what's a comfortable monthly payment for you. It doesn't necessarily matter that the bank is willing to lend you $500,000 and a $3,000 mortgage if you're only comfortable with $1,500. So these are the kinds of things that you need to discuss with someone that gets to know you, that gets to know your circumstances, that understands where you're coming from, and, and also has the right tools and team and experience and knowledge to close the transaction properly. So again, going back to if, if you find a home that you know is your dream home, and something happens and the transaction doesn't close, then that's, that's not, that doesn't benefit you being promised some great interest rate that, you, that you may inevitably makes it so that you end up losing your home. A, a question that we get asked a lot uh, is, what is your interest rate today? And another misconception there is there's a, a, a wide range of interest rates at any given time. Um, and right in the middle is what's considered standard or par pricing. And that's today's interest rates for a standard closing cost, right? So if, if today's interest rate is 5% and standard closing costs are $5,000, then that's level pricing. Now, can I get a rate lower than 5%? Yes, you can. But if you want a lower interest rate, it's going to increase your closing costs. If you, that, and that's not necessarily a bad way to go. Sometimes that's a good way to go. You can pay more closing costs to purchase a lower interest rate. Is that a good fit for you? We'd have to do the math and figure out where the break even point is and, and how long you're gonna be in the house and, and is it make the, the monthly payment more comfortable? Do you have the funds to buy the rate down or is the seller willing to do that? Can your real estate agent negotiate that for you? Um, on the other side of that coin, you can also increase the interest rate to decrease the closing costs. Now, why would anyone want a higher interest rate? Well, sometimes if you don't have the cash for closing costs and the seller is unwilling or unable to pay those closing costs, then you can bump the rate up a little bit and we can decrease the closing costs. It's still an affordable house, still an affordable payment, still a great way to go. Uh, and, and if it's the only way to buy a house, then it's a fabulous way to go. So it's just options, you know, that's why what is your, is your interest rate? It's, it's based on your, 
credit score, your down payment, your debt to income ratio, the program options. Uh, there's many different factors that, that work into it. So you really have to you really have to learn a lot about somebody before you can quote them an interest rate. Yeah. yeah so you want to make sure that they're comfortable. Yeah. Anything else? The end. Hey, thanks for checking out the show. Please check out our website. There you can find additional information, reports that can answer a lot of your questions, or you can give me a call at the number below. Just remember, there's a lot of good stuff coming up we want to share with you. So let's get moving right now.